Well, would you look at me, finger right there on the pulse, finally getting around to talking about the New Legends game nearly a month after Pokemon Day. Holy crap, it's no wonder that I'm no one's favorite Pokemon content creator. But seriously, my family and I have been really busy these past two or three weeks, so I really genuinely appreciate all of your patience and support. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about Legend Z to A. Or is it Legend Za? Legend Zarude? I'm just going to call it Legend ZA. My name is Elite Trainer Kenway, and in no particular order, here are 10 things that I want to see in Pokemon Legend ZA. Number one, obviously, is going to be Mega Evolutions. The easy choice here is going to be the Gen 6 starters, with Greninja getting Battle Bond in Generation 7, not being in Generation 8 at all, and then losing that form in Generation 9. I'm sure that Pokemon Z was going to debut the Mega Forms for Greninja, Chestnut, and Delphox, but since we never got Z, this is the chance to get Megas for the Kalos starters. Now, I know you're probably typing a comment right now correcting me on the fact that the Sinnoh starters didn't get new forms in Legends Arceus, but I genuinely think this game is going to be something completely different than what we got with Arceus. Other Pokemon I'd like to see get Megas would be Flygon, Dragonite, Aegislash, Klefki, Dragapult, and wait, Klefki? Yes, I think it would be absolutely amazing if they gave Klefki a Mega form only for it to look exactly like Klefki does now, but with one extra key added. Give it the old Dunsparce treatment. Number two, I would love to see some new Pokeball designs in this game. And no, I'm not talking about the Jet Ball or the Gigaton Ball. I'm talking about actual modern Pokeballs that we will be able to use in Gen 10 onward. One of my favorite things to do is to catch Pokemon in a ball that matches its color and or style. Hell, I made a whole video a while back talking about this. It's a shame that we haven't seen many new Pokeballs since Gen 4. At the very least, we need a Sun Ball to coincide with the Moon Ball we've had since Generation 2. Here are just a few Pokeball designs I would love to see make their in-game debut with Legend ZA. Number 3. I don't think we're going to get this, but I would love to see a Dragon Evolution. There are a ton of great Fakemon designs for what a Dragon Evolution could look like. We haven't had a new Evolution since Sylveon debuted in Kalos, and there is no better time to debut a new Eevee than right now with Legend ZA. Number 4. Bring back shiny sounds. Just, I shouldn't have to explain why this is a good thing. Just bring back shiny sounds. Moving on. Number five. I mentioned this last week, and so I'm mentioning it again. Whatever legendary and mythical Pokemon we get in Legend ZA, please allow them to be shiny huntable. I want to shiny hunt Volcanion, Hoopa, and Deancey. It's a damn shame that Hoopa and Volcanion shinies aren't available because they legitimately both have pretty good shinies. Deancey was released some years ago in Japan, but I'd love to get one of my own in a luxury ball. It's a shame that Enamorous was shiny locked in Legends Arceus, so please, Game Freak, don't make the same mistake with this Legends game. Number six, let us send Furfro Trims and Zakard's other forms into Pokemon Home to be stored. Currently, the only way to get Furfro's Trims in your home collection is by trading with someone else on the other side of the world who trimmed them in Pokemon Go, or use the location spoofing app to trim them yourselves in Pokemon Go. Zygarde technically has three forms that cannot be stored in Pokemon Home. I don't necessarily want new Furfuro forms or a new Zygarde form, I just want to be able to transfer the existing forms into Pokemon Home. And yes, I get that Zygarde's 100% form is a battle form, but this list isn't about what's likely, it's just a wish list, and I wish that they would let us store Zygarde's 100% form in Pokemon Home. Number five, I want AZ, oh wait, no, hang on. No, I'm going in the wrong direction. Number seven, I want AZ's Floet. AZ's Floet is in the data for Pokemon X and Y and can be obtained with an action replay, meaning it was very likely supposed to be given away via distribution before Game Freak realized that they needed to hurry up and get to generation seven. Whether it's given to us or whether we have the ability to catch it, I would very much like to have AZ's Floet in my personal collection. Which brings me nicely to number eight, Let's learn more about the Kalos War. Whether Legend ZA takes us back in time, like most theorists are predicting, or takes us forward in time, like I'm predicting, more on that in a couple of weeks, I want to learn more about the Kalos War. Who did Kalos go to war with? What was the war fought over? Why was a Pokemon like Floette even drafted in the first place? Oh, and this is just a minor detail, nothing really important, but where did the ultimate weapon hit? We know that the ultimate weapon did not hit Paldea. However, it wouldn't surprise me if they retcon that to make it canon. But whatever the case is, I want to know what happened during the Great Kalos War. Number nine, I want to see Pokemon with guns. I'm just kidding. 
For number nine, I want proper clothing customizations to return. X and Y was the first game that ever properly gave us clothing customization. They removed this feature in ORAS, then gave it back to us in Generation 7, then removed it again in BDSP, and gave us a worse version of it in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So for Legend ZA, I want proper clothing customization back. And for number 10, I want to see Pikachu in the game. No extra forms of Pikachu, just I want Pikachu to be available. Okay, for real. I want the ability to battle Ash. I know this is not going to happen, but again, this is my wish list, and X and Y Ash was the best version of Ash. I would absolutely love to battle Ash with Greninja as his ace. That's it for me this week, you guys. Uh, thank you very much again for your support. We are slowly working things out here, but don't be surprised if I take another week or two off around the end of April. Let me know down in the comment section what you want to see more than anything in Legend ZA. I hope you guys have an awesome week, and I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.